Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Ghost 11 Vice Squad, brought to you by the Antros Fly Company and Fly Life Company, our sponsors. After you've watched today's video, please head over to our online stores at fishingoutdoors.ca or fishingoutdoors.net for U.S. and international shoppers. Also, after you've watched this video, if you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, subscribe button, and also don't forget to hit the little reminder bell so you don't miss any of our future content and episodes. Today in the Vice, we're going to tie a little Copper John Stonefly. And uh, we're going to start off with this size 12 R7 caddis hook. It's caddis hook. And this is a 3.5 millimeter tungsten bead and then seven wraps of 0.02 lead wire. We're going to take this uh, bead and we're going to flip the hook upside down actually. And we're going to find the slot, push it up, and then push the uh, wire back up against it. And it's going to cause that bead to be offset and invert the hook. We're going to ride hook point up and then we're going to start our thread right behind the lead. Also I apologize for the marker on my fingers. I could not get it off before we started the video. So you guys are going to have to deal with that. As we work our thread down, it's like a really even body. Whole way down. And we're going to work into the bend of the hook. Like that. And now we're going to tie in two different biots in brown. You want these biots to almost be facing upwards. And tie in your other one. If you struggle with this part, like I tend to, uh, check out some of Ryan's videos. He does a lot of buy at work and some really nice buy at work at that. Be sure to check his videos out. I believe his day is Wednesdays. And then once you get them tied in, just bring them back. Keep the thread on top of them so you keep the body even. So when we wrap our wire, it stays even. Pull it up there and bring it back to the wire. Or, yeah, the lead wire. Take those off. We're going to put a little bit of super glue on top of that lead wire just to keep it in place. And we're going to do that step now. Wait, it's not in our way here later. Very thin coat. Awesome. And now we're going to take a piece of copper wire. We're going to tie it in along the body. Bring it back to the biots and then bring it back up to the lead wire. Cause it'll create a little bit of a taper. Nothing too drastic. Okay. And now we're gonna half hitch off. Put it up in our bottom cradle. We're gonna use the rotary function to wrap this wire the whole way up the body. Hopefully I didn't grab too little wire or else we are going to redo this step. But I think actually what I got here is about perfect. Whew. Ran that one down to the wire. Get it? Down to the wire. All right. Anyways, um, I'm going to tie that off. Next time I'm going to give myself more room. And then we're gonna helicopter it off. What little is left. So 
So now we're gonna tie in a piece of opal holographic tinsel. We're gonna use as a flashback. Bring it back up. Now we're gonna tie in our rubber legs. You're gonna thread a little twist, make it a little smaller, thinner. Help play out, flare out these legs. Oh, my bad, missed a step. First, we're gonna tie in the peacock because it's easier to tie in first rather than afterwards. Right now, I'm gonna thread that little twist. And where did I put that leg? There it is. Keep it away from the bead, that way when we wrap this peacock curl, it doesn't end up pushing it backwards. Keep that in mind. Bring it back up. And now we're gonna wrap this peacock curl to create the rest of this fly. Oops. A little hard with these rubber legs, Just be patient. Eventually you'll get there. <laughs> That's what I keep telling myself anyways. Give it one more wrap by the bead. Really solidify it. Catch it with your thread. We're gonna trim it off right there where it ended up at. Awesome. And now we're gonna pull the wing case over. This is more to get the fish's attention than anything. And not necessary if you don't have the correct means of making it happen. It does look good and I think helps the fish ability, but people also have opposing opinions on that. So now that we got that, we're gonna a couple more wraps and half hitch off. Trim off our thread. And now we're just gonna trim to shape our legs. All about the same. We're in relatively uh, small because we don't want to create too much drag with this fly. And there you have little copper john stonefly this is a request from one of my followers so uh if that's you then shout out to you if not then i mean, obviously you're welcome to watch it and hope you enjoyed it so now that we've uh tied this fly please head over to our awesome online stores at fishingandoutdoors.ca and net for us international shoppers if you have not yet Unless you really, really loathed this video and absolutely hated it, which I really apologize for, um, please hit the subscribe button and the like button and uh, hit that little reminder bell so you don't miss any of our future episodes. I hope you guys had a, are having a great Sunday and uh, see you guys next week.